I literally only care about these animals. It's a snake, she said. It's an indigo snake. Her name's Blue. It's Sunday, the first day of week 11, the last week of our summer 2024. And Justin is starting the day off by painting the girls' nails for them. You chose pink, Cypher? Yeah. Pink is beautiful. Pink is your favorite color? And purple is my favorite color too. And they are beautiful purple nails. And Jason came home this morning and is now enjoying our new pets without the mess that we got. You like him? <laughs> You're a goof. <laughs> he also came home with a new haircut looking handsome. If you can't tell already, I am back at my friend's apartment where we are moving her from this one to a bigger apartment for her and her kids. And as you can see, we are almost done. We finished up my friend's move and cleaning, and then she invited me to go and see Deadpool and Wolverine with her this evening as a way to unwind and thank me for the help. So mom gonna go see Deadpool and Wolverine with her friend, but we're having fried chicken. But the girls, on the other hand, are in the living room with their own little picnic. French fries and peanut butter sandwiches on a blanket. And there are these orders with our selfies and our drinks. I had a really good time with my friend. The movie is awesome, so I suggest everybody to go and see the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. I brought home some popcorn for Justin, and he and I are now sharing it while watching a movie that he had already started before I got home. It's Monday morning, August 5th, and if you've been keeping up with the weather here in Florida, you would know that we are going through Tropical Storm Debbie currently. That means that we are stuck inside here at home all day long today. Honestly though, with it being the last week of summer, it's kind of normal to get tropical storms or hurricane weather. Justin got off work this afternoon, and he took Malachi over to get his before school haircut. Let me see! Hi. It looks very nice on you, dude. So now both of you have your hair cut for school starting in a week. We're ending Monday with the girls in bed and the boys playing video games. And I'm watching Gilmore Girls. It's Tuesday and Justin has tomorrow off of work. So we have big plans of somewhere to go. But for today, since we're at home and especially because we're waiting for the storm to just finish going through our area, we are going to cross another item off of our bucket list today. And that is going to be tie dye. I did prep one whole box of the tie-dye colors, and I'm doing the second box now. I've got some tablecloths and the drop cloths that came with these kits set up outside using some bricks to hold them down under the carport in case it starts to rain again. Over the past month or so, we've thrifted white shirts from random thrift stores in the area, and we've been taking the time to clean them really well, try to get all of them stain-free using whatever methods possible, including bleaching in the sun. When we finally got all of the shirts cleaned and we had our tie-dyeing kits all set and ready to go, we really just needed to wait until we had some free time to do it when all of the kids were here with us. Could you spin? Could you spin? Could you spin? Jason's gonna try the crumpled technique. Justin said he's trying a crumpled technique, but he's trying to make a specific design in there. Red for the first top. Now okay. I want orange for this, and then yellow for that, and then green for that, and then blue for that, and then purple for that, and then pink for that. Ooh. Don't go past the rubber band, okay? okay. The next step after you do your colors is to wrap it in saran wrap and leave it to sit for six to eight hours. One down, six more to go. I got one. pink. We'll do pink on one corner, purple on another corner. That pink, that pink is gonna be pink. 
beautiful. I think it's going to be beautiful too. Squeeze. Nice. I have this white tank top as well, and I'm going to do it a spiral with some very specific colors. All of the kids are done with their tie-dye and so am I and Justin is the last one that had to come out and do his with whatever was left over, honestly. Here is everything we tie-dyed and that is all we have left of all of our tie-dye materials. That's Justin, these are my two, that's Jason's, Malachi's, Chandler's, our friend Ryder's, Cypher's, and this one is one that we made for both of the girls with an extra t-shirt that we had and using whatever colors we had left in the end. I have this tote that I got in the VIP box for the Airs tour when Justin and I went at the very beginning of the tour. And I have two of them, so I think I want to try and make this one match this pair of shoes that I have because I love these shoes. But I don't have a lot of items that match it or complement it very much. I also have this apron that is close in color and fabric to the tote. So I'm going to be using it as my practice to try and get the tie-dye coloring just right to match the shoes. That is pretty much perfect. So now it's just time to go ahead and soak this in the dye that I made. Okay, here it is. And it matches really nicely, actually. It looks really good compared to the shoe color. It was looking a little too much baby blue, so I gave it a quick rinse, rang it out, and then it went back to matching the shoes. I got it wrapped up in saran wrap, and I'm gonna go add it to the rest of the tie-dye. There she is in all of her glory with all the other tie-dye. We're just gonna wash this apron with all of the other tie-dye stuff because if it gets stained, it will just be more fun. Malachi had an extra plain white t-shirt in his closet and he decided that we were going to try a special design. If you can guess what it is, go ahead and comment to tell us what you think we're trying to make here. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and dye it with the two colors he chose, wrap it up to let it sit with our other shirts, and then we'll see it all completed tomorrow. We actually had to use the last four colors to do like a marbled effect on each side. So one side is going to be blue and orange, and the other side is going to be red and yellow. And we shall see if it turns out to be what we're hoping. Our shirts have been resting with the tie-dye in them, but it hasn't been quite long enough for me to go ahead and unwrap them and rinse them out. Instead, we've been taking the evening to get ourselves ready for a big adventure that we're taking as a family tomorrow. It is time to unwrap, unban, and rinse out the shirts. Whoa. The first one we're opening up is the extra one I did for the girls. It looks there. awesome. That is so much fun. It was just scattered colors. That's all I was doing but with it's a it. Perfect match, perfect match. I love it. Hello. They're gonna love yeah. it. Oh my goodness, look at how good. This is the one that our friend made and it is amazing. Okay, here is the one that Jason did. That's wow. The purple one. I think he's really gonna like this. Yeah. It is chaotic. That is Jason to a T. Yeah. I think he's gonna love his piece of art. This is a tank top that I did and I made it spiral. Look how cute oh, that's that came awesome. Out. Oh, you did great, God. baby. That is so much fun. <sighs> nice. That is Malachi's. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. It really oh, looks good. good. Here. This one is Cypher's. We made a light pink specifically, and then we had the darker pink, and then the two sides of purple. Oh. Look how she good. I love it. Look at the dark pink and the lighter pink on the outside. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. The white, oh. the white ring and everything. She's gonna love it. She is. Oh, that's perfect. She's gonna love that. Yeah. Look at the rainbow. I love it. It worked out great. I think that looks really it good. Does. Here is my first one. I just kind of did it random. This is just the first t-shirt I did. So it's really cool. It came out fun. Yeah. Justin went for a special design. So let's see if it came out and we can tell what it is. Well. Kind of, got the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he was going for a smiley face, I think. <laughs> The smile didn't work out you so well. You really just... He's shocked and surprised. <laughs> oh well. 
fun colors though. Yeah. We're running all of the tie dye through the washer and we're getting ready to head to bed because we will be up super early for our fun tomorrow. It is 6.30 in the morning on Wednesday. I am in my bathing suit and I'm about to rinse the last two things that we tie dyed yesterday before I throw them in the washer to wash everything one last time. And then we're going to make sure everybody is ready to go and head out. We are here in line at De Leon Springs State Park in De Leon Springs, Florida. We have about 20 minutes, so we are just sitting in the car watching a movie. And everybody is now moving towards the entrance. Inside of Dalyon Springs is the old sugar mill pancake house. It was at one point a working sugar mill, and now it is a pancake breakfast restaurant where you can make your own pancakes and breakfast right there on the table. Right, here is the spring. No, we set ourselves up over here close to the swimming hole. And we are having some breakfast. Justin is watching the toddlers play on the playground for a little bit. Boys are coming over here to swim. Justin's like up on the playground with the kids. There you go. Now you can go. I'll see you. Ah. Toddlers have decided it is time to get in the water. So I guess we're getting in the water. We've got both of our tubes blown up, water wings are ready, and we're going to play in the water. Everyone's having fun in the water. Chandler hates the cold water, so we came up here for a snack, and Cypher decided to join us. Justin and Malachi are out there playing together. <laughs> the boys have the shallow section all to themselves right now. We're gonna take the toddlers back over to the playground to play while the boys continue playing in the water over here. Oh, yeah. The boys decided to come over and play on the playground with the toddlers. It's not busy today, so it's really nice and chill in here. And normally this place is packed, but it's just a chill day. And this is a really nice way to end the summer. Justin's playing a game, he's not ignoring me. I am going on a nature walk with the toddlers. Um. Hi. Malachi is having so much fun swimming, he will not come out of the water. Justin and Jason are making themselves something to eat while we go on our nature walk. We have stopped at every single sign to look at it. That was a great adventure. It was a great adventure. After our walk, we got a drink and we came back over to the playground to play some more. It is clear that the water here is too cold for the girls to really enjoy playing in. But it's okay because there's still plenty of other things to do around here. Cypher is steering the ship. It's just before noon. We are all packed up. Everybody's got a snack in their laps and we are headed home. This was the extra shirt that Malachi had in his closet that we used the last of the tie-dye colors on. We tried to do a whole yin and yang thing, which I think came out pretty okay, considering what we had left to use. Everybody's tie-dye is out of the dryer. There's Justin's. This is my t-shirt. That is the tank top that's mine. That's Jason's t-shirt. These are Malachi's shirts. He's got the yin and yang one and the spiral design. This is our friend's shirt. It came out so good. This is Chandler's rainbow stripe shirt. This is Cypher's dark pink, light pink, and purple spiral shirt. And this is the extra shirt that I made for the girls just for fun. My Eras Tour bag that I dyed to match the color of my shoes did fade a lot. Justin took both of the boys to karate where Jason will leave with his mom. And the girls and I stayed home painting our nails. We tried these little imprint things where I did stars in the moon and we did butterflies on Chandler's thumbs. You like your nails? Good. It's Thursday. Chandler and Cypher are both wearing two of the tie-dyed shirts from this Wait. week. And we are playing with our fish friends. I have cleaned out our cooler and I think we're gonna go ahead and pack it away because we are done with all of our big trips for summertime. So, we have a flat tire. Justin's going to be putting the spare tire on for now. The spare tire we didn't know we had until right before summer. 9.30 on Thursday night. It's always eventful. 
at least this side has the street light. It's Friday morning and last night Justin put the spare tire on here, but apparently this morning it also went flat. So he went today and got a new used tire for the van during his lunch break. And now he is on his way back to work. I know. So you have to work, love you. Today for me is a day filled with catching up on some editing, on some cleaning and running some errands with all of the kids. It is officially the last weekday of summer. So I have a list of things to get done before the weekend hits and before we start school next week. I had a free TikTok shop sample package delivered earlier from Amazon. And while they were here, they ended up hitting our fence, knocking it completely off into the house, messing up the brick foundation that's here by that much. And you can see where they hit our house and messed with it. it and the whole fence is just leaning that way. Justin had to call and make a claim, I guess, with Amazon because of it. And that is how we spent dinner time this Friday evening. It's Saturday morning and Justin took all of the car seats out of the car on his lunch break. I put the car seat covers in the washer and when they're all done being washed, I will let them air dry. Justin's about to go back to work and he is taking this longboard so that I can clean the inside of the car while he's gone. I got myself in my tie-dye shirt and I grabbed the car care gift pack that we had gotten from Target at the beginning of summer and I am ready to give the inside of the car a really good deep clean. The car care gift pack also came with this bonus gift of four air fresheners for the car so we will be making sure to put these in there. And the girls have agreed to help mommy by wiping clean their car seats. Both of the girls were given just a wet washcloth and they are just wiping clean the seats. Being very helpful for mommy. I've cleaned the entire front of the car. I need to do the front seats and the middle console and then the front of the car will be done except for vacuuming the floors. I started working in this area and then around the floor part inside here. So I'm gonna start doing the door and the seats, making sure everything in the back for the boys is clean as well. And then I will be getting the car seats put back in the car. And the only thing that should be needed to be done inside is vacuuming the floors. I got the inside of the car completely clean except for the back five windows. I'm on my way to an appointment so I have to get that done afterwards. And even though today is supposed to be the end of the week, we're going to continue our summer into tomorrow, finishing off the summer with one more bucket list item of washing the family car together. Like I said, the last thing I had left to do was cleaning windows, so I got that done. Justin reassembled the car seats and now we are putting them back in the car. And under the girls' car seats, we noticed that we were digging into the seats of the van. That one was definitely worse, but we figured that a blanket under the girls' car seats would keep more damage from happening. After all, we do hope to have this van for longer than the girls are actually in car seats. My friend is coming to watch the kids tonight. She's bringing her son who is about the boy's age. All of them will be up late tonight playing video games in the room and hopefully leaving my friend be. For the girls, we've been playing Danny Go and other movement videos on YouTube for them. I took them for a walk down the road to go and check the mail. We're feeding them a carb loaded dinner of spaghetti and we are going to be doing a nice calming bath for them tonight before putting them to bed early and hopefully we'll have gotten them tired enough to pass out immediately and they won't be fighting my friend to go to sleep when Justin and I go out tonight. We have left the house with no children. We are on our way to the Orlando Science Center where we are attending Science Night Live, a Saturday night event for ages 21 and up. There's a bar on every level of the Science Center and they also have some food vendors there. We're meeting some friends there, one of which is celebrating her birthday and we are using this night to kind of celebrate our anniversary as well. They gave us a program. We have Star Wars people dressed up back there and we got a picture as a group with them. By the way, here's the birthday girl. So happy birthday to my bestie. Thank you. It's a flank steak and rice and he got the ravioli. I got myself a wine and Justin got a Jack and Coke. It's all Florida Man trivia. Oh my gosh. No, in Florida? The worst place for a vampire to live. Something, there's something so healing about seeing all these adults playing in these spaces and doing all of these fun things that are here really for kids to learn from. Most times that I'm doing stuff at this science center, I'm being yelled at by my kids to hurry up. I want to try, I want to try. 
I got 12 baskets. Even though they look pretty much exactly like hedgehogs, they're actually not even related to hedgehogs. Their closest relatives, surprisingly, are going to be elephants and manatees. This is food for this. That's crazy. There's another lobster, there's starfish, there's sea urchins, there's another sea snail down there. And all of these are nocturnal, so they're not out very often for us to touch during the day. Oh, it actually looks like a cucumber. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, no, because it's soft. Ew, it's soft. <laughs> oh, it's so smooth. That's our cowrie, so it's kind of like a sea snail, so it lives inside that shell. With her lobster. Yeah. That's her spot. She stays there pretty much like all day. Mm -hmm. You can touch them. I literally only care about these animals. It's a snake, she said. Like you're hitting a punching bag. Don't slow down. What was that? I don't even remember what our score was. <laughs> that is so cool. found a dollar. It came flying out of one of these tubes when we were playing with the scarves. It must have gotten caught. <laughs> the Greenery Creamery Cookie Butter Ice Cream. That is so cute. It's called a skink. A skink. They talk about skinks in Matilda. It looks like it's like a glove at the side of the center. I love it. They've made it also a vendor space as well where you can buy people's art. Sloth is sleeping in the little hammock. How cute. That was the longest I'd ever been in the gift store before. And I didn't hear anybody asking me for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bridge is so pretty at night. Happy anniversary. Thank you. He got me a bookmark. And it's made of leather, which is the third year wedding anniversary gift. If you are in the Orlando area and you've ever made it over to the Science Center, especially with your kids, I would suggest coming over here for one of these Science Night Live events that they have because tonight was so much fun. There was so many adults all enjoying just the freedom of playing and science and fun and without any kind of inhibitions to hold them back. And that really made it so special and a really wonderful opportunity for a date night. It's 12.50 in the morning. On the way back home, Justin and I stopped for some Taco Bell. We shared some tacos with the boys. We sat and talked with my friend for a few minutes, and then she and her son left, and then we finally just got the boys in bed. We're both going to get comfortable. I'm going to watch some Criminal Minds while I eat some Taco Bell, and then we're going to get ourselves ready and into bed for the night. It's Sunday morning and the day started off really nice and slow because of our late night. And then Justin went to my mom's to pick up our new used dryer. And because Justin had to do this so that we could transport the dryer, we're going to go ahead and get the vacuuming done inside so that we can finish the inside detailing of our van and get to washing the outside of the car as a family. So instead of doing the vibrations while it's in the car or on while top, you're vacuuming. Right up, I'm just shaking it while it's okay. upside down. Gosh. Justin even went in here where the track is for the door and cleaned a lot of sand and dirt out of in there. So I took these panels out and the two center ones here, vacuumed underneath and then cleaned them off with a rag. Nice. Seats are going back in. Justin finished vacuuming out the car and then it immediately started to rain. But as I said earlier, rains come and go here in Florida. So we're gonna wait it out, make some dinner for everyone, make sure that the boys are completely set up for their first days of school tomorrow. And if the rain clears up, we will have a little bit of fun before getting cleaned up for bed tonight. We are outside washing the car. <laughs> the outside of the car is completely washed. <laughs> 
The girls went inside with dad to get cleaned up and ready for bed. So the boys and I are going to go ahead and do the tires. Step to the top. Fill up those spaces. Nice. Nice. It's like our dog. That dog never slowly. stops freaking barking. Because they were wet, a lot of it just kind of melted right off. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of wanting it to stick onto it better. I'm gonna go in and help with bedtime setup for the girls. I'm gonna let these tires marinate with this foam on them. I came out and except for the main windshield, I dried off all of the windows and mirrors. And now it is time to rinse off and just give a wipe to the tire rims. And we will be all done washing our beautiful Inez. She is beauty, she is grace, she is clean enough to appreciate her for all she did for us this summer. And because we just washed the car and we know that the windows are super clean, we're going to go ahead and add some decals. Everybody is cleaned up and ready for bed, having a snack and playing some video games. The only thing I have left to do is check off on the bucket list that we washed the family car together. And that is the official end of the Unschoolies Summer 2024. Yeah! Yeah! But again, the end of this season does not mean the end for the Unschoolies. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our family adventures during our schoolie conversion, our future mobile home makeover, and our other adventures around the state of Florida. And hopefully soon around the United States. Bye-bye! I'm back at the bus. We're gonna be doing an oil change, fuel update, and making sure that the battery's good so that we can get her moved and ready again for some more work.